this is what we're going to talk about today. <laughs> Remember when your teacher used to say that? This is what we're going to do today. And you would sit there and you would embrace on a thought. All I want to say is that creativity is an addiction. If you could just look at it through those eyes, I think you're going to better understand what happens to you in the middle of the night and, and why people do what they do with you at your place of business because you've got something that they need that's going to make them money and, and you've got to learn how to tame down your inner monster. Unplug because we will always say yes to creativity, totally uncut, because we all make mistakes. So turn it into a tool. This is Arrow Unplugged. Well, there you are. I hope you're doing well. What, what day is it where you are? <laughs> I always have to ask that because I am so blown away at how podcasting is not something that happens in the now. You may record it right now, but it's amazing how seven or eight years will go by and people discover it. Now, where I presently stand is is February 7th, 2022. Where are you? What's it like? Are you writing it down? I want to read your writing. I want to, I want to see what your life is like through this evolution of change and challenge. Because here we are. Not always an easy task. We're always just trying to put the right words in place. And then we race off to a creative destination. What you do, what I do, it's not like any other job. The source of our flow is energized by the depth of what's inside our imagination. So we've got to plant the right emotion. It has to be a priority, not just once, but it's got to be every day, which is why I keep a defrag journal. But I don't use that defrag journal in the morning because there's there's so much negative energy in the defrag journal that I, I, I don't want my mental floor with all the dust and stuff like that on it to become mud patties. So I use these pages. They're designed to be activators, to be that source of steps moving forward in, in my emotions. I got to be honest with you, and I don't know if you've been here before, but I don't come to this podcast to play. This is not a game. This is a mission. This is a calling. This is who we are and who we've got to become. It also gives us the opportunity to have some openness when it comes to the mental changes in the atmosphere, because we all want to be accepted. And what we have to do is that we can't become that perfectionist. Admit that you're a student. We learn through the methods of experience. Let all that is present be the way so that we can reset the way with absolutely no judgment, just a willingness to be present in this place called now. Hey, it's Arrow. This is the Daily Mess, a chronological walk through an everyday world. I am a daily writer. I, I, I put pen to paper and let the universe speak. <laughs> What a chore, because <laughs> there are days if you think I am always in the mood to write, <laughs> but I know we get to talk. There's a reason for this. Remember, it's not play. It's a chance for us to connect, to build upon the presence of now in your now, because it may be seven years later before you find this. And, and what I want to do is I want to be there with something that you may have been searching for, the needle in the haystack, something that is there that's going to say, you know what? You needed this. This is the daily mess. <sighs> Do you ever find yourself looking in the mirror and you're going, back to the grind? What nobody sees, I want to focus on that. What nobody sees, you go through it, I go through it. They think they know you. But what nobody sees, the working mind, the planning, the execution, the goal to do it again. And if it should break, you make the move to keep from walking away. Nobody sees it. Even while looking into our eyes, they may see that grind, but nobody sees it. What it really takes to keep your engine moving. Knowing what's in store so we can explore to put the value of creative energy ahead of all things. What nobody sees. They don't see it. The inner battle with who I am going to be. See how I said that? Who I am going to be. I want you to say that. This is who I am going to be. It's not always a choice. It's more of a mopping up of the messes. I mean, a thought can do so much to a moment. It can challenge it. It can create an entire new evolution for the moment. That's all we own is the moment. And here we are. 
and nobody sees it. The struggle to be normal. Because it's not always easy to step into your place of now and just set thoughts free. To leave your presence of now and physically put it into words. What nobody sees. It's your evolution. What nobody sees. Are there times you want people to see it? And so many times when we do, their reaction is, eh, I remember back maybe 2002 on an album that I I put together. The album was called So They Think I'm Weird, So I Proved It. (laughs) I, I wrote a song for my wife of 29 years. I was so moved by the creation of the lyrics, which became the music, which became the harmony, which became the mix down, which, which, which became, wow, in my heart. And then when I shared it with her, what nobody sees, what nobody sees, she goes, what's it all about? I, I, I don't get it. And as a creative mind, you go, oh, okay, okay. And, and sure, I was absolutely hurt. And I bet if I go back to 2002 in my daily writing, I bet I speak not just one day, but several days about how she didn't see it. What nobody sees. So then how do you move through something like this? How do you build up your confidence and your courage to continue growing as a creative person or just a regular person? When nobody sees it, doesn't matter. You see it. You feel it. You experience it. People always ask me, man, how do you talk to all of those famous people and and, and keep it together and don't let it go to your head? What nobody sees. I get the moment to write out the questions, to do the show prep, to land, first of all, the interview and, and then and then to have the physical conversation and then to produce it and put it on the Internet. What nobody sees. So when people say, my God, you're talking to Ted Nugent. Yeah. Why doesn't it go to your head? What nobody sees. It's about a conversation. And in that conversation, you just hope that there's a connection. What nobody sees. I'm Arrow, and that's The Daily Mess.